kind of color code this just to help you guys out a little bit. So we're going to start with the 4a squared, all right, and we're going to take it to all three parts, right? Okay, so start with that 4a squared. So what's 4a squared times 2a squared, Nyasia? 4a squared times 2a squared. 8a to the 4th. Good, 8a to the 4th. Okay, so what is 4a squared times negative a? Ashley B? I didn't know. Let's do it again real quick. 4a squared and a minus a. I like your negative four. Yeah. And then how many A's you have? If you have two here and one here. So A to the third. Okay. okay. All right, Bria, what is it when you take four A squared times eight? Um, Very good. Okay, does anybody have a question about those first three parts? Okay. All right, so now you're going to take, and you're going to take the three A through. Okay. So what is three A times two A squared, Link? so far about anything I've done? Okay, so now last step here, we've got to go ahead and do the negative 7, all right? So now you're going to take the negative 7 through. So, Tessa, negative 7 times 2a squared, what do we get there? Uh, negative 14a squared. Good. Ashley R, negative 7 times negative a. Negative 7 times the 8. Very good. Okay, does anybody have a question about that? Okay, so now you got to combine like terms, right? Okay, so start with the first one. Do we have any four other A to the fourth? No, so we get to just start by writing him down. So 8, A to the fourth. Okay, all right, so now let's look at our cubes. We got one here, one there. So, so, yeah, so then we'll end up with 2. I heard over here 2, which is right. 2a to the third. Remember, we don't change it because we're adding and subtracting now. We don't change the exponent. Okay, so those guys are out. Okay, so then we've got a squared, squared, and squared. So we've got 32 minus 3 minus 14. Yeah, 15 is right. So 15a squared, good job. So plus 15a squared. Okay, so then all those guys are out. So now we have a 24a and a 7a. What do we get there? 17. Not 17. Plus. Good, 31a. And then the minus 56 is just tacked on there. And that would be your answer. Okay, so again, we're just distributing to all the parts. Okay, all right, let's flip over. We're only going to be looking at number six on the back side, okay? So it says, write a simplified expression to represent the area. All right, so we're finding area. And then write your solution in standard form and label. So it says the dimensions of a basketball court are 2y plus 10 and 5y minus 6. Find the area. So how do you find the area of a rectangle? Can you add all the sides up? Oh, not doing perimeter. Length times width. Length times width, right? Oh. Does that make sense now? So length times width, so we're going to have 2y plus 10, and we're going to multiply it by 5y minus 6. Is everybody okay with that, length times width, so we're just multiplying the two together? Okay, take a second, foil that out, and let's see what you end up with. Right. So that's why, yeah, so like, that's why I had, uh, I color coded it. So we've got red, green, and then purple. So we distributed the four, then we distributed it in green with three, and then we distributed the seven. 
No, it's a trinomial. Three, three parts is a trinomial. Walk me through it. So, what did you get when you just did that, the foil part? Like, what was your first line? So now combine like terms, right? So put together your y's. What is 12 minus 50? 50. Negative 12 and 50 what? 38. So you get 10y squared plus 38y minus 60. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Okay, now what do you label it? Feet. Ah, squared. There we go. Feet squared because it's area. And that would be your answer. All right, does anybody have a question for me? No? Nope. Okay. Uh, 